Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new thermostat from Excel Air Systems. Uh, it is an all-in-one thermostat that will help you to control your temperature and humidity acting as a thermostat and dehumidistat. The nice thing about this thermostat is it is wireless and you can control it from the app on your smartphone. So what you're going to want to do first is download the i3 thermostat application from your app store. Once you do have this app, it's going to ask you to create an account using your email address. Um, before you can add this thermostat to the application, you're going to want to do something on your thermostat first. You're going to push the home button and you're going to get these three or four lines and four dot configuration button. You're going to click that button and it's going to give you your menu set points. We want to get to configurations and you're going to push your white arrow as enter. It's going to let you go through your configuration settings. There is a shortcut. You can through, scroll through them all using the white arrow. Uh, shortcut is to hit your back button and it's going to right away set you to your reset Wi-Fi mode. Uh, right now we're saying no. Use your up arrow to click or to select Y for yes. Push your white enter arrow and it's going to revert you back to the home screen. What you should notice is your Wi-Fi symbol will now be flashing with the exclamation point. So you're ready to add this thermostat to your app. So on your smart device, you're going to open up your app and it's going to ask you to log in. Once you've logged in, you're going to click the configuration button up at the top and it's going to give you a list of menus. We want to add thermostat to an account. So it's going to ask you for a little bit of information, the thermostat ID on label. So to access that, you're actually going to go to your thermostat, peel that off, and on the back of this thermostat, you're going to see a barcode with your thermostat ID. This number you will need to remember at a later step. Um, for myself, I like to remember the last three digits as it's easier. And you can manually input this number into the app, or you can use the scan function. We're going to go to our app here and we're going to pick it up and push scan. What that's going to do is open up your camera and you're going to just do your best to line that up over the barcode and it automatically enters that number in. The other thing it's going to ask you for is a name of the thermostat. Should you have multiple thermostats, it's a good idea to label it room one or room two, living room, depending on its location. For us, we're going to write test. The other thing is, is you want a description as the app does support multiple different devices. So for us, we're going to use thermostat. And finally, it's going to ask you for your zip code or postal code. Once you've entered that, you can click add. While that's adding, you can take your thermostat and place it back on the base. It's going to begin its boot up process. And while we're doing that, we can turn our attention back to our app and we can go close as it will show you a disclaimer saying the information is not current. From there, we're going to want to add our new thermostat to our Wi-Fi or wireless router. To do that, click the configurations button at the top of the app and you're going to have your list of options here. Connect thermostat to router is the one you want to click and it's going to give you some instructions. It's going to send you back to your thermostat and it's going to ask you to go through your Wi-Fi setup or reset process again. So you're going to push your home button, push your menu button, under config, push your enter, and again, we're flashing no. We want to push our up button to get to Y for yes and push our white arrow enter. Again, the thermostat Wi-Fi symbol and exclamation point will begin to flash. Once it has done that, you can then go back to your application and push next. Next is going to ask you to actually exit the app and enter your phone's settings. Under the settings, you want to find your Wi-Fi. And under your networks, you're now going to notice that number I asked you to remember earlier. And you're going to click that. You can now exit your Wi-Fi settings and go back into your app. 
You've done this now, you've, you've added to the Wi-Fi router, so you can click Next. It's now going to ask you to sync to the Wi-Fi router for your home or business. And then enter your password for the router. Once you've entered your password, it's going to ask you to wait up to 15 seconds. While this is happening, if you turn your attention back to the thermostat, you should see that your Wi-Fi symbol will stop flashing once it has connected. Perfect. It's gone solid. So we can go back over to our app, click OK, and we should see our thermostat. If you notice now, they have not synced yet. They will, as it can take up to 10 to 20 seconds for the two to talk. You can speed this up or force sync by sliding down on the app. You'll notice they're both the same now. Now from your thermostat you can adjust your cool set point up or down and apply your setting. Again it can take up to 10 or 20 seconds for it to automatically sync or you can slide down on the app. 